Oh hey there kids! I'm just about to log out of the information super highway on my new iMac. So let's get into doing it. Huh. That's not supposed to happen. Martha! So yep, that is the problem with this iMac. It beeps for I think you can kind of see where it's going. This RAM module bay does not work whatsoever. And that's what is causing the beeping issue and it not powering up because it cannot detect any RAM. If you put the RAM in this slot, it works just fine. So what I'm gonna plan to do in this video is I'm going to at, at least attempt to fix this RAM slot. So let's get to disassembly. And before you say anything, I still have not gotten glass for this yet. I really need to do that soon. And the two cables are right here. Right next to the optical drive. Yikes, it's dusty. There's one. Ow. That hurt. Okay, I can't do this on camera. Should I be able to lift it now? Nope. So I have to undo these two screws here to get this display cable off. And then there's another cable here that I missed. Which is very easily taken outable. Okay, so now I should be able to remove this LCD panel. And I definitely can. Now where do I put it? It's pretty dusty in here. So yeah, I have to do more dusting off camera, but yeah, this is quite dusty inside. But I have to get working because it's gonna be my bedtime soon. So now I have to flip this thing around again. So now I need to unplug tons of things. So, time lapse. Now I should be able to just lift it out. The shield is sticking to the to the board. There we go. I'm pretty sure that nobody's opened this up to clean it out cuz it's an iMac. You can see that this heat sink really needs to be dusted as well. So, let's do that. Warranty void if removed? <laughs> yeah, right. So there's one thing that most people should be able to see that's wrong with this board. I'll give you a few seconds. Did you figure it out? Well, it's this RAM slot here. It's not working, obviously, but if you also notice on this one, it's broken too. Let me show you what I mean. So this is what the board is supposed to look like, and this is what it does look like. The thing over here is also broken, but the other one is still on. But these plastic tabs not only hold the top of the RAM ejector slot on, it also aligns the RAM while it's in the socket. So that's also not good. 
it's not good that this is off. So because this is super damaged, uh, I'm thinking the problem is with these pins along here and on the back of here. These pins connect to the motherboard that connect everything to everything. And if one of those is broken, it does have the potential to not have this RAM slot work at all. So I'm gonna go down to my garage and heat up my soldering iron. So I'm now in the garage and it is freezing in here. It's super cold, we just had snow. So yeah, it's cold. Literally, I can actually see my breath. But anyways, now we need to get into soldering. I got a brand new Hakko soldering iron for Christmas. So now I can actually do this stuff without using like a $5 Walmart iron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to heat this up and then I'm gonna go through all of these pins to reflow them, just to re reflow them. So let's get into that. Initiate the giant loud fan. I'm gonna put this goop stuff on the pins this just helps the solder flow. It's called flux. And I really need to invest in a better way to put some of this on. Now I'm just gonna go through all these pins and reflow them. So what this does is it turns all the solder to liquid and then it rejoins all the connections. Jeez, it's cold. My hands just wanna melt. As much as I don't want to do it, I'm going to desolder every single pin. I think it's like 200 of them that I need to desolder. So I'm just going to take my iron, heat up one of the pins, and then take my tweezers and then pry the pin off from this. That's the harder way to do it, or I could do the easier way, which would just be messy. Yeah, whatever, I'll try both methods. That's it, I'm trying method two. What is method two? Taking my $5 Walmart iron and literally just melting the top of this connector so I can pry all the pins off. I know it's an awful way to do it, but where in my description said that I was a professional? Time to melt things. So, a couple months of procrastination later, I'm finally doing this again. I really don't want this to explode, but, but after what I did, I wouldn't be too surprised. So I have the screen off, I just have the bare minimum to get to work. So if anything explodes, at least we'll be able to see it. So, we have the connectors. 
three, two, one. Well, thankfully nothing exploded. So I grabbed a couple things. I grabbed this dead hard drive that I had, this speaker, and this fan. So I'm gonna plug it in and see if any of these like actually work. What the? Wow! I'm gonna get some RAM and see if this thing will actually bong. So I have a stick of RAM in there that I really don't mind losing. It's only one gigabyte. But let's see if it does bong. It does! How is it still alive? Well, I. I guess I'm gonna put everything back together now. I mean, this wasn't what I expected, but I guess I'll take it. So this is it, the 2007 iMac. Released in 2007, this is Apple's first aluminum iMac. Why am I talking like I'm Hugh Jeffries? But speaking of Hugh Jeffries, you may have noticed that this Apple logo is now clear. I'll link to the Hugh Jeffries video that inspired me to do this. And honestly, I think it looks cool. When I bought this thing, I originally wanted it to do three things. Video edit, write and read DVDs, and watch movies. But when I bought this, I didn't know what's going to happen in the future. Back then I was still using the laptop that I'm now going to be turning into an Xbox. And it had a broken DVD drive so I couldn't watch movies or write discs. So I got this so that I could write discs and watch movies while I work. But now I got a new PC with a working drive. So now I can just watch movies on that and it barely takes up any power. And the first reason is because I wanted to video edit on this. What was I thinking back then? But now I've got an M1 MacBook Air that I do all my video editing on. So... This is also irrelevant, so I've decided I'm going to recycle it, but not in the way you think. I'm going to be turning this into a very terrible pro display, going to make the motherboard into a Windows XP machine for my brother, and just maybe upgrade my own computer with these parts. If anybody knows if this is a possible upgrade, Please tell me in the comments. But anyways, thanks for watching.